Hey guys, today we are unboxing the Bearded Axe of Gimli. This is actually one of three axes that United Cutlery made for the Lord of the Rings films, and it's the only one that I have not yet collected. So we're actually gonna compare all three of Gimli's awesome axes today. But first, we're gonna unbox the Bearded Axe. I'm gonna use my new retro Gandalf knife to open this up today. I'll give you the reveal on this in a later video. <laughs> ah, man, I love the look of these axes. There's something about a good ax. Look at that. Oh man. I love the design of these axes. Like each one is unique in shape. It has a very weathered look, which I love. I think that's gonna look really cool hanging on the wall next to the other two. It's the first one I've seen sent with this like plywood material kind of thing. This. Uh, particle board to keep it safe, I guess. All right, so let's check out the plaque here. Very nice. Sorry, goes that way. So here we have the wall plaque that this will mount on. I like that this has some very straight, hard edges to it. A lot of the other plaques you know, have rounded edges. You can kind of see uh, Anduril in the background and uh, Orcrist. So the Elven blades tend to have, uh, and even the Rohan blades have more rounded edges, but I like that they, they went with more hard edges. It feels more dwarven to me. I really like the combination of the weathered steel with the gold accents. And I noticed this is really the only one that has accents also on the blade itself, kind of inlaid into the steel, which is really cool. Um, that's actually on both sides. And then on the bottom, we've got Lord of the Rings stamped with uh, the United Cutlery model number, the nice leather grip. And this one just feels really good in hand. Uh, as I've said on previous videos like this, certain swords um, you know, are, are a bit too cumbersome, you know, not that you would want to use them in any uh, actual situation, but it's kind of fun to pick one up and just kind of wield it around a little bit, uh, put yourself in the moment of the films. Um, and Orcrist, for example, is kind of kind of heavy in hand, whereas something like Aomer Sword that we've previously reviewed here on the channel, uh, it feels really good and you can really whip it around easily. It's still got heft to it, so it feels nice and substantial. Uh, but it's got a good balance and it's not too heavy to the point where you could actually hold this and uh, You know fake swing it around a little bit and get in your dwarven state of mind And of course we get the certificate of authenticity, which once again has the ring verse on the back So this axe was designed by Warren Mayhe um, under the art direction of Richard Taylor the filming prop was created by prop and miniature maker Greg Allison it features a battle-worn weathered blade with a dwarven device etched onto the surface and has a leather-wrapped haft for grip. Gimli, son of Glowin, came to Rivendell with his father to represent his people. There they met at the Council of Elrond, where they learned that Bilbo's nephew Frodo Baggins was bearer of the One Ring, a dangerous ring of power forged and then lost by the Dark Lord Sauron. The Council concluded after deciding to destroy the ring in Mount Doom located within Sauron's domain of Mordor. Frodo volunteered for the task and eight offered to accompany him on his journey, one of which was Gimli. Throughout their journey, Gimli faced many valiant adversaries and proved to be an admirable, intelligent, and powerful warrior. Being short, stout creatures, the dwarven kind made up for their lack of speed and reach with tremendous power and long-handled weapons. Their primary weapons were axes, which, when well swung, possess the force of a heavy club and the cutting abilities of a combat-sharpened sword. 
Gimli carried several varieties of axes, which included throwing axes for hunting. One of his most feared weapons was the bearded axe. This heavy single blade adorned a sharp drop point, much like that of a pickaxe, which gave it the appearance of a bearded man's silhouette. Though the blade was extremely sharp, the backside could also be used as a bone-shattering hammer. That's super interesting. I never even thought about that. So he could swing it like that for the force of a hammer, which feeling this in hand, like you could see how that, that would do some damage. You get that to your kneecaps, that's, you're going down. Although if you get this to your kneecaps, then you're also going down, just minus the bottom half of your legs. This authentically detailed axe is a reproduction of the prop featured in the Lord of the Rings trilogy presented by New Line Cinema. The blade is cast of forged tool steel with brass engraved decorations and a weathered steel finish, giving it a battle-worn appearance. So the bearded axe of Gimli, like they said, the silhouette looks like a man's beard. So this is the beard, I guess. Do I look like I have a beard now? So I guess you're supposed to hold it here on the handle. I keep wanting to hold higher and then like let it slide down, like chopping firewood kind of thing. If any of you out there have ever chopped firewood before. But maybe, maybe Gimli would also use this for firewood. I don't know. Or maybe that would be a different axe. Speaking of which, we're going to compare Gimli's three axes from United Cutlery because I happen to have the other two already. So next up we have the walking axe of Gimli, which if you recall in the films, this is the one that he holds up when Aragorn tells him to lower his axe uh, when they're in the forest of Fangorn because the trees are making noise, they're not they're not digging it. So this is one of my favorite ones. I just love how it's got uh, the gaps in here. Um, and you know, it's, it's just a cool look to it. So these two together, I think will look really cool side by side. Um, but I do love the, uh, the upwards point on this one. Ever since I saw Gimli lifted up in the forest of Fangorn, um, I've, I've thought that this is a pretty cool ax. And I also like the designs on kind of the back sides of the blades are not exactly matched. They kind of complement each other, but they're definitely uh, different. So it adds some variety to the axes. And then finally, we have the battle axe, which is the one you probably have seen the most in the film. So this is the one he's using at Helm's Deep and the one at Amon Hen most of the time when they're in the thick of things, this is the ax that Gimli is carrying. And this is also the heaviest, as you can imagine. It's got the double blade. Again, it's got some unique design elements here in the center um, that match well with the other two, but they're not an exact match. Um, but they definitely coordinate well together. So I think I'm gonna come up with a cool display for the three of these to be uh, mounted on the wall really close to each other. I think that'll look really cool. So as I was editing the video, I realized I forgot to mention that the battle axe, in case you've never noticed this, Gimli actually picks it up in the chamber of Mazarbul, uh, where they find Balin's tomb. Um, so you can actually see it in a scene very briefly as they're walking in, and you will never see him carry it before that scene. So this is the very axe that Gimli picks up which is his battle axe uh, for the rest of the trilogy. Now the two that I already had, they're a little bit scuffed up, so it's kind of nice to have this this other one to see what it looked, what these looked like brand new. Um, but they're in pretty good shape considering you know I got a pretty good deal on them and uh, they were used online, so um, I'm pretty pretty excited about these. It's it's kind of hard to find the battle axe, especially I think nowadays. So I got to say these three together make a really cool looking set. Um, Gimli is one of my favorite characters. As you guys well know, I love the dwarves. So having these three together to kind of complete the set and come up with a cool display for the wall is pretty awesome. Like I'm really excited to show it off to you guys whenever I get these all mounted. And not to mention these axes also go really well with Gimli's helmet. And maybe I can rig up a cool display where the axes are mounted on the wall and then there's a shelf with Gimli's helmet up there. Um, it'd be like my own little corner homage to Gimli. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite of these, honestly. As I'm looking at these, you know, I love the battle axe because Gimli uses it so much in the films. And the walking axe, I, I, like I said, I really like the upward blade and the fact that it's got holes, it gives it a little more personality. And honestly, I know it's the new shiny toy in the room and everything, but 
I really like this bearded axe. The weathered uh, look on the blade is definitely unique to the three, and I'm a really big fan of it. I think it looks really, really sharp. Reading also that it could be used kind of like a hammer um, on the backside is pretty awesome as well. I had no idea about that. I don't think we see Gimli use this one quite as much. And honestly, I think weight-wise, this is my favorite. It feels like the most balanced, the most comfortable in my hand. And I know you're not supposed to, and I never would, but if I wanted to chop some firewood with this, this would be the one that I picked. I would, I would pick this over the other two, if I were gonna do that, which I'm not, because this is going on my wall and it's gonna be kept in pristine condition. Well, that's gonna be all today from the Nerd Cave. Thanks to United Cutlery for sending me this beautiful axe. And be sure to go to budkey.com to get your Gimli axe. We'll see you next time on Nerd of the Rings. Baruch Kazard! Kazard, I'm a new.